So camera five, give me a head-to-toe shot of Susan. Camera two, push in and give me an IMAG shot of Susan. Okay, so I'm going to roll in, or fade in, camera two. Camera two is now live. Camera five is in preview. So what we're going to do now is link up our green screen. And the way you link is you go, you pick a shot that you want up on the side projectors. So right now I want camera two in the side projectors and I want this image with the lower third graphic and the title to come up over her but I don't want to see any green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link up and I'm going to press key one, chroma key over here and this lights up this bus here. Now whatever you have, when you have chroma key lit up you have to tell it which thing you want the green to come out of. So if I do camera one, it's going to take all the green out of camera one and lay it over top of camera two. But I don't. I want media one. So I'm going to press media one. And we can see, too, that the color is not set to the right thing. So how do you set the color? Well, you're going to see that it says color in blue. You're going to change this little knob here until it says green. And next to that knob is another knob that says initiate. And when I click initiate, the green will disappear up here leaving the lower third graphic. Presto. Now that my chroma, my path is set up correctly, and again, key one, chroma key, media one, I'm going to hit side projector, because this top row gets to change to a bunch of different things, and these buttons uh, correspond to it. So side projector is now set um, so that we can pick whatever goes to side projector. So we need to link up first, and the way you link up is you go top right hand corner first, bottom left hand corner like this, and now they're linked up. And the easy way to do it then is just fade it in. And now you've got lower third on going to program and out into the room on the side projector. Okay, so side projector right now has camera five. Now to link up so that side projector is also getting camera two with the lower third, we have to link them. Uh, so right now we've got camera four, uh, camera five on side projector, we've got camera two on program. And to link it, watch what's going to happen. I'm going to press the top right hand corner and the lower left hand corner next, and that's going to link it up. Let me show you again. Side projector will have camera five on it, and I'm going to link top right, bottom left, and now whatever is happening in program is now going to get sent to side projector. Okay, so now that all that's set up, I'm going to hit background, and the lower third goes away in preview. If I want it to come back, I hit key one, and then transition it in while I'm linked up so that the room can see it. And then hit background, key one, roll it off, background, and it goes away. So, okay, right now we're going to, again, link up side projector link and then you hit key one trans and it remembers the path that you set up and it's easy to do. You always need to check your path that is um, before service starts. And the way you check your path again is you go key one, chroma key, media one. Unless you get something else that you need to green screen out, but that never happens. So and then you've got to make sure to get out of this path by clicking side projector. You link back up and the way you get out of a link is you just click on something else. And now you're unlinked. Camera 5 is back on side projector. Piece of cake. And to make, if the key 1 is lit up, to make it go away, you hit background. And it disappears. And you want to communicate with your media 1 person so that you never get this out to the room, which is a media 1 green screen slide. So this is never what you, you would you never want this out into the room uh, during a live service. You always want it to be a person with uh, linked up with a green screen um, over top of it. And again, the green gets keyed out or taken away or becomes invisible when we do this method.